This is the biggest opportunity of my life. Now it's time to sell something. One of you is gonna hand me a contract and try to close me. What do you sell somebody that has everything? Walking in, I felt so awkward in that moment. What y'all got? The Sea Keeper Stabilizer for your size boat. That's an 82 foot, $5 million yacht. I didn't even know how to spell yacht. He told me, if you ever call it a boat again, I'll punch you clear in the mouth. Like, for God's sake. Could have been a hell of a lot better. I would not have bought from them. We're confident. We're about to close this guy. We offer security services to people like yourself who own exotic vehicles. I'm gonna stop y'all. Do you think when somebody buys a car for like $350,000, they're worried about losing it? This is where it starts to kind of, it's the, we start to kind of go down the hill a little bit. So I'm not trying to be difficult. This wasn't the product. I don't need this. What's going through my head is my spot on this show is just, it's on the line. Go, go global. Internet is revolutionary. You will now have full connectivity all over the globe. All right, so I literally spend one-tenth of one percent of my time flying in areas where there's no internet. I knew we messed up right there. Your product I don't need. I mean, quite frankly, I don't need it. We're presenting and selling potatoes to Sean Mike. For every five subscriptions, we donate a meal to a single parent, families in need. First of all, I was raised by a single mom. Great idea. Confusing, though. The bottom line is I'm going to say yes because the concept's so good, even though your delivery and your salesmanship was so bad. <laughs> I knew the potato was a good decision. Like, I just knew it. And it. it it showed, it showed. Maybe I wasn't the best presenter, but Dan, that potato got his heart. At this moment, this is the first time since I've been here that I'm actually having thoughts that I'm probably about to go home. I don't know what to expect. I don't, because Sean is a bit spontaneous. First of all, that was very interesting to me. Um, some of the areas that you excelled in, I didn't see, and some of the areas that you failed in, I didn't see. Do you have any idea if anybody closed me or not? Yeah. Got it. Who closed me? Potatoes. Potatoes did. I kind of felt like they would be the one that closed. Like, potatoes, just, like, that's out of the ordinary. Whose idea was it to, to set your potato deal up that way? I mean... Me and Digger. They had the right idea, because they said, hey, you're a giver, here's a cause to give to, and here's a potato. <laughs> Basically, they just sold this whole, like, give back and feed single moms and families. And I'm like, Amazing. you could have come in and been like, great boat, I got a plan for you. I do think the other contestants were surprised that the potato was the only one that got signed, because the other ones seemed so practical. Why'd you pick the potato? I got, why'd you pick it? I'm gonna be straight up. I don't know nothing about boats and Lamborghinis and all that, but I saw the potato. I know everybody's gotta eat at the end of the day. You don't need a Lambo at the end of the day, so I figured I'd stick with my logic and my gut. Well, it's a good choice. The only one I bought was her potato deal. Against all odds, guys, against all odds. That's my style. Where do you think is an area where your team really excelled? Absolutely, with um, James stepping up and being able to really be passionate and vocal, he excelled in that area. Well, he excelled because he was so unbelievably, like, meek. Dude, for three days, you're, you change a lot, which I love. You're gonna be one hell of a salesperson if you keep, because you're growing so fast, you will be unbelievably good. To hear that from Sean, it's like, James, you got this one. And it's like feeling my confidence, like I can do this. What was the most uncomfortable part for you, Brandon? Like what was the most uncomfortable part? The unknown of how it was gonna actually start out. That was discombobulated. You came in and like, I'm looking at you and you're looking at me and I'm like, okay, I guess, I guess we start, right? right? The challenge that I just sucked at, you know, which was what I thought was, would have been my strongest uh, challenge. I thought that Mr. Mike would see that as an opportunity to coach me. Give you a great piece of advice. Last night, if you had said, hey, I'm gonna be the product person, I'm gonna be the research person, then you all come back together and you would have been like, okay, let's not put small boat, right? Like you would have figured that out. Or, hey, you know, when I started looking at Ferraris, insurance claims, like I don't think that's the play. Like if you had, cause a lot of times when you're a team, most of you spent the majority of the time together all day, yesterday and all night. That's not so good. So what I'd have done, I'd be like, okay guys, we've now talked for two hours, let's all, hey, let's give each other half an hour. 
they all get something to eat. Let's all kind of think about it and let's come back together and see if any of us see a problem of what we're doing. Because when you're together, you can't get away. It's too close to you. He's saying that you all had issues, you all had flaws, some of y'all did good in this, some of y'all did bad in this. Did any of you at all, you team leaders, did any of you for one minute think that maybe I should do the whole thing? I thought it. Then sure. why, why didn't you do it? Well, because I didn't want to be the one that stayed shining, unfortunately. So I wanted to give them the opportunity as well and show that we can work as a team. Okay, but if it's your team and everybody eats because the team does well, if that's the whole concept, then you fail the team. Right. I don't take charge in areas I'm strong in because I'm narcissistic or egotistical. I take charge in areas I'm strong in so we can all eat. Right. And, and that's the difference, right? Is Because imagine sitting still and getting this pinball. They all still shine. You could have yeah. easily said, James did this, Care did this, and even after we would have debriefed and figured out what part, what the part they played. But a lot of that is also not having that experience being in charge. So these are things that you learn through being in business for yourself. That, I'll, that, I, that if you do win, I'll teach you, and I'll continue to teach you every day, every week, every month, every quarter, you know? So, all right, good news, y'all still here. Bad news, four of you are gonna leave now. What I was expecting was that Sean was going to say, this team got first, this team got second, this team got third, this team got last. One of you guys on the last team is going home. I'm gonna start with you, okay? I want you all three of you step up here, please. All right, all right, right there is good, okay? You have 30 seconds. The way this works, you're all gonna do the exact same thing. This is not about you now being team leader. There's three people. You're gonna decide, you're each gonna have a vote for who should go. If you get together and you agree, cool. If you can't make a decision, you go, well, we're gonna have to, there's one of them. I could vote for me, I could vote for him. If you can't make a decision, then all three of you can go. And your 30 seconds starts now. Sean says one person is going home from each team, but you three that's in the team have to actually choose who that person is who goes home or all three of you go home. Who you vote? I was thinking, you're gonna vote yourself. 10 seconds. Okay. It's gonna be Mark. It's gonna be Mark? Why is it gonna be Mark? I chose Mark uh, because you agree with it being Mark? I didn't get a vote because he voted himself out. You vote, whoa, go to Mark. Why'd you vote yourself out? Um, I think that I kind of like get distracted a lot, a bit. Like sometimes I have to isolate myself from the team to, uh, to mentally prepare myself and better myself. And in some way I think that also affects the teams in a negative way. What did you do that caused y'all not to do good today, specifically? Um, I, I think I thought a lot. One, I came up with the idea um, I also also uh, think a lot when it comes to like, I should say this, I should say that. Why'd you vote for Mark? I voted for Mark because, uh, for one, everything he said is is technically true. I think he's 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 a young guy. I think he has a lot to learn, but I think he's. If we're talking about who's going to make it to the end and be trained by you, I think he's got more prep preparation and more uh, experience to kind of go through to where he's, like you said, more confident to where he doesn't have to separate himself from the group and and X Y Z. Uh, but as as far as his idea, yeah, he came up with the idea, and I chose him to come up with an idea because he knows cars. Um, however, the idea, us going with the idea, that was my responsibility. So that's that's on me. Joshua, would you have voted for Mark? I would have, uh, only, Sean, only because he's young. He's got a lot going on. He's got a career in acting. He loves it. It's his passion. This is not his passion. And it'll be tough for you to mentor somebody that you got to pour their heart out of him. If this isn't your passion, why'd you come here? Or is he speaking for you? Should he not have said that? No, he, he's, he's, he's right. He's right. Yeah, he's okay. Right. Dude, first of all, you should follow your heart. How old are you? 19. 19. So you're young, dude. Yeah. You, you ain't. But you gotta promise me something, and I mean this. Mm -hmm. And somebody will go, he shouldn't say that. If you get to be like 23, 24, 25, and you ain't making any kind of money in acting ever, then you're just not good. You go, nope, I haven't gotten the right break. Dude, you've been at it for six years, does that make sense? Yeah. Maybe you're good, but you're not, like, so please don't chase it the rest of your life. Gotcha. Because then you're never gonna be able to support a family. There's a lot of broke ass people out there chasing stuff, and I don't hate on anybody's dreams. 
I don't. I hope you go make it big and I get to see you do something. So that actually makes a lot of sense to me. I ain't mad at you for it, bro, and I appreciate you for being here. Thank you. You got it. Take care of yourself, man. Thank you very much. Give him a hand. I did feel bad about sending Mark home, but as a leader, I had to make a decision. Uh, as a competitor, I had to make a decision. There was no way I'm going to pick myself because I came here to be mentored by Sean. Come on up, three of you, please. Same deal, and your time starts now. Christine is looking at me. Carol is looking at me. We're all looking at each other. And no one isn't saying anything. No one was, doesn't want to go home. So I feel like I had to take matters into my own hands. Let's do it. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you, my friend. Five. Who is it? James. James. Who'd you vote for? Myself. You voted for James? I did vote for James. How about you? James. James, why'd you vote for yourself? Because uh, when I came here, I was putting other people first, opposed to myself. I have a strong passion, I love people, and I couldn't help my heart, and that's just something that I need to work on. And I feel like God sent me here for me to work on that. And I appreciate the opportunity, and I appreciate everyone here. But we're gonna meet again, and I'm gonna work on myself. Come here for a minute, please. Yes. Okay. You get to promise me something. Yes, sir. Okay, don't do that again. Mm -hmm. No, don't, don't. I, the kid with the act and stuff, I already told him that, I, like, I'm not mad at him. Good luck, and I'm glad he came here to learn something, but I understand him. Right. Sean really looked like he was bothered by what was happening because he looked like he saw something different than the leader that he assigned was seeing. Was there anything in the presentation he did, like, setting up for it that was inferior to Kara? Mm -hmm. If you were building a business today, today, that you wanted to scale, you could keep one person, James or Kara, who would it be? It would have been James because he's definitely younger. He, obviously you see what he did today and being able to just turn it around immediately. When Christine said that she would hire me over Kara, I, I was kind of confused because it's like, why did you allow me to say me? So I like you a lot, but I really wish you had voted for her then. I didn't have to vote. They both voted for him, so that was the that was the number. If I would have voted for her, we would have been odd. So they voted both you for James. You you would have stayed had you not voted for yourself? No, and I told him outside not to vote for Everyone himself. Everyone was quiet. And I knew I had to sacrifice, and that's OK, because they're both amazing. I need to work on myself, and I'm OK with that. I sacrificed myself because no one wasn't going to make a decision. No one. I knew they weren't. So I feel like I had to make the decision. And I wasn't going to call either one of them. I called myself. I'll be back, and I'm going to I do great things. I need you to do me a huge favor. What's up, Sean? And I mean this. Yes, sir. Don't ever, and I mean this. Mm -hmm. They are great people. Mm -hmm. But letting them kick you out easy is not, you. what sacrifice did you make? Dude, you are not less than anybody. That's the problem. That's how you came here. That was the guy that came here, like this. This is the guy. You ain't, you deserve to make more money or as much money as they both do. Sean told me I'm not less than anybody. How I felt when he said that was, James, you didn't know your worth. They're not any better than you and you're not any better than them. Know your worth and walk in who you are and who God made you to be. How old are you? 24. You're, old, you're younger than they are. You're sharp as shit. Thank you. And you're teachable. Smart. Very. I don't like this. I don't either. Well, you sure as hell let it happen. My partner always says the first thought is the God thought. The first thought was going to be Kara, and I trusted too much instead of being the leader like I was supposed to. I had to, I had to make a decision. Well, you let it happen. I'm not mad at you, but you let it happen. Mm -hmm. I told him outside not to say it again. Not to say what again? That it was gonna be him. I never said it was gonna be me. I did not say I do not want to be here. That's a lie. Never said that. I said that Specifically, if anything were to happen, I'm okay. I never said that verbatim. Yeah, not verbatim. Why, yeah. See, why verbatim. didn't you fight like that there? Everyone was quiet. So what? Why'd you nominate you? They were quiet. So what? Dude, if we were all sitting here and one of us got to go to prison for 10 years and they say speak up, I ain't saying shit. And I'll do a lot better in prison than any of you will. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything on that regards. But I'm just saying, okay, I would never, ever leave here because they're quiet. Be quiet. 
There's power in silence. You end up being this martyr. You made yourself a martyr. Like, I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be me. Because that was a negativity you came in with. Does that make sense? It does, Sean. Dude, stay with them, I ain't letting you go yet. Something touched Mr. Mike's heart and actually made him make an executive decision. I didn't think that he was going to reverse that decision. I wasn't expecting that at all. I, I mean, I thought that he was going to go ahead and, and just let James fall on his own sword. Hey, don't keep hugging him. One of you is going to go. It ain't going to be James. Sean makes this declaration. So James is not going home. And I wouldn't be all jumping around either. That's a game changer. This was, you're talking about a, a, a twist, a plot twist. That was it. Three of you, please, up here. 30 seconds starts now. From my perspective, I already knew the one I wanted to go home today just because of all of the work we put in last night. And, and, uh, and we didn't get as much help as we, we needed uh, to really pull through and to keep it solid after we even now. Yeah, our vote is Ethan. Your vote is Ethan? Yes, sir. Don't even tell me you voted for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Why'd you vote for Ethan? Uh, because throughout the challenges, uh, we're gonna need somebody we go to war with. And from the very beginning, Monica has been uh, with me from the very beginning, up late, 1.30, 2.30 in the morning, whatever it took. So when we went to the boat section yesterday, uh, Ethan had to kind of run to make it. It kind of held us up. Got we kind of traded time, and today- Fair I enough, fair enough, so. He's got stuff, he wasn't there, he wasn't as committed as y'all. Y'all roll until one or two o'clock in the morning. How about you, same thing, same reason? Yes, sir. Do you like Ethan? I love him. You love him? How can you not love Ethan? You know? Bro, what's wrong over there, dude? I'm trying to do a show, stop crying. When I was standing in line and crying, I couldn't hold back because when he told me that you're gonna be staying, it, it confirmed everything. It confirmed everything that I went through from living in my car, from coming down here on faith, believing that God has something great in store. It confirmed everything. Stop crying, bro, you got it? No, I ain't clapping for him. I'm trying to clap and get him to stop freaking crying. I'm crying because I can't help this feeling. Dude, I never felt this before. This is new to me. <laughs> and it's coming, and I'm gonna let it just, just pour out of me. Like, come on. And Sean said, pick yourself up. I'm gonna pick myself up. <laughs> There's a time and a place in life to cry. Today ain't that day. And this time is not that time. Save those tears for when you need them. So you love Ethan? Yes. Yes? Ethan, who'd you vote for? I didn't vote for who? myself. I know that. Who would you have voted for? I think I would have voted out Monica. You debated? Yes. OK, why would you vote Monica out? And then why would you have thought about debating, about voting Brandon out? Well, I think Brandon, he just, he was really in tune. And he asked, he, he asked more questions on the boat. He was pretty structured and organized. And I could tell that he really, you know, wanted to get this right. He went out of his way to get t-shirts done, hats done. So I could tell that he put a lot into it. And I feel like he just put too much into it to let him go. Got it. All right, Ethan, appreciate you, bro. Thank you. You're a great team. you, dude. It was like pulling teeth a little bit with Ethan. I, I love the guy, man. The guy is an amazing guy. But it just wasn't the right teammate to go to war with. All right, you three. And your time starts now. Hi, who do you guys vote for? You the leader, who do you vote for? Um, I either want to vote for Ryan or myself. Let's go. We chose Ryan. You chose Ryan. Why did you choose Ryan? I was in debate between myself and Ryan, but I do feel like there was just certain parts of the presentation where it was just very dry and uncompassionate. Um, you were in debate between yourself and Ryan. Yeah, I felt like I let them down as a leader. You gave me this leadership position, and I felt like I knew that I could have made that presentation shorter, more concise, not as much you know, extra stuff, and I knew that, so I felt like I vote them down as a leader, but I also had to stick with my gut and vote for Ryan instead of myself, because I do believe I can be better. Who did you vote for? I voted for Raquel. How come? It's very difficult. She's got a lot of heart. Um, I just feel like she's young, um, and I think- Okay, so guys, I'm gonna help you out. How old are you? 30, 31. How in the world, she's 19. How in the world are we not thinking, she's young, Dude, the problem in the world nowadays, we got a bunch of 30, 40, 50, 60 year olds that are broke as shit. So, Ryan, I love you. You're gonna be great. Give him a hand. All right. 
I felt horrible about sending Ryan home. Like he was literally yesterday, he was just showing me a recruiting call, like teaching me certain things about the business. Like anytime anyone goes home, I'm like, <laughs> but then the other voice is like, this is just a show. Like everybody's gonna be fine. Just and then new day, new day. Like now I gotta narrow it down to four people. And I'm done kind of asking y'all, I've narrowed down to four people, okay? Um, the two of you did great, you did. Um, you didn't get a chance to do the question asking because the product was so jacked up we couldn't get there, okay? Um, from the minute we've started, I've been a huge, huge fan of yours. Huge fan of yours as well. But if I take between the two of you and it ain't easy, and I'm gonna keep one person to come with me on this journey, it's gonna be you. So Joshua, I love you. Get a buzzsaw, thanks for coming in. Oh, I love you, brother. Appreciate you, man. You're gonna do great. Um, you three. I don't, you knew the dynamics, so I'm not sitting here. I think all three of you are great, okay? I think what bothered me, Christine, is you went from our biggest strength in the presentation was James. You said it. I asked you, you said I, one thing. James and his presentation, which is great. Then we're gonna fire somebody, and you let my man fall on the sword, like no problem. And your job as a leader was to stand in front of that. So you two both have to go, you're gonna stay. If your overall objective is I need to be liked over everything else, you'll never work with me as a leader. You can't be in a leadership role, because you'll make bad decisions that you think benefit your likability that will harm other people. I wish you all the best of luck. You guys are great. It's gonna be great. Up. You're gonna be great. I was like, I knew it. And at that moment, I said, that's why I was here. Because that was the lesson I needed to learn. I need to make the hard decisions and let people go regardless. If they are not going to serve the team, let them go. I was shocked that Christine ended up going home. I expected her to be the last person that I had to go up against. <sighs> From day one, I have learned so much. And for the agents that aren't doing anything at home, you're getting fired. That's what I learned. <laughs> All right. I I've liked you both since the time you got here. I'll be honest with you, I really have. And I I'm a big fan of both of you, you know? And it's not a e really easy decision. Honestly, I knew you a little bit earlier and I didn't know you, but as I've gotten to know you, I'm like, she's great. Like, she's super strong. I like the way you present. But if I'm gonna run a business or I'm gonna spend a year trying to mentor somebody, I gotta take Brand. I just have to, you know? But you're great, and I wish you nothing but the best. You did an unbelievably good job. I'm gonna be true, you're great. You got it, absolutely, 100%. Um, then there were two. If I'm building a business tomorrow with the two of you, the stuff you shared with me about your family and what you've been through, I don't half know what you're doing half the time because you're running like 100 miles an hour. Um, I don't care that you're 19 and you look 12. That, like that's your, I don't. Um, Digna, you're professional, you're well put together, you have a great story, you care about the people you work with, you both work hard. Um, I, I, I gotta take Raquel, I have to. And, and it's just, you guys, you're great, you're awesome, I love you, you're great at whatever you do. I do not have an idea that today was gonna to be my day, that he was just gonna pick one person. Maybe I was overqualified, I don't know. Maybe I'm not what he's looking for right now, uh, but I think he lose out on me. All right, slide closer together, slide closer together. Bring it in here, okay. So you guys are, are my final four. So I'm like betting that I can take one of you and allow him or her to take their business, their life to the next level. To actually go out there and make a million dollars a year and none of you have done that. I think I, I got a great four, been very weird how we arrived. The four that was in that room, I'm here to tell you when God is on your side, nothing can come against you. When God is for you, nothing can stand in your way. Your footsteps are ordered. Never would have bet out you when I first met you to be here. We first met, I, was, I wouldn't have until you started doing your interview. I'm like, oh my God. The two of you, I've been like, you've been great since we started. So I've been pretty like, you know, but we have one more challenge. I personally had no idea on what challenge Sean Mike can be doing. It could be doing skydiving or something to the extreme. And the great thing about this is this has nothing to do with strength, height, how fast you run. It's all 
mental toughness. Nothing matters, no height, no nothing, no nothing. It's only your mental. So then I was kind of relieved because I was like, I, I know I'm a little sporadic and a little blah, 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 but I do really genuinely believe that I have a strong mind. So you and my final four, one of you, hey, be careful what you ask for because you might love that you get picked, but you better work your ass off and you have to change. And we gotta do it together. Does that make sense? All right, we'll go get changed. Sean's an intense guy. He's, a, he's kind of a crazy dude. I'm thinking that it's gonna be something that we could potentially like die doing, you know what I mean? Like who can last the longest before it's like, hey, this dude's about to pass out. You know what I mean? Like CPR real quick and all right, hey, you won, congratulate. You know what I mean? So that's where my mind is at. All right, guys, well, congratulations, by the way, because now there's four. So uh, 100 and some odd people down here waiting in line, 140, 150, we whittle it down. We get to a group, we start, and we end up with four people. The good news is one of you is going to win, and then we're going to really enter a journey where I see what you got, what you can do, and help you get to where you want to get to financially. But only one of you. So really what it comes down to is how strong are you here? That's it. Like, what can you do from an intestinal fortitude standpoint? So I, we, we thought, what is one thing that I can do to test all your mental grit, if you will? Well, you're actually leaning up against it. He's talking to us and he tells us, you know, hey, the challenge is right behind you. And so I turn around and like, there's just this big box. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, you're like, what is that? And have you ever done a cold punch before? None of you done one, okay? So you're on an even ground. None of you have done one, all right? So I do this thing every morning. It's life-changing, but it's cold, and it's supposed to be cold. It's at 40 degrees right now. It's not at 34 or 36. 40 is cold enough. The cold plunge for me was a no-brainer for the final challenge. Um, if you've not done one, I do it every day. I love it. I enjoy the hell out of it. Ever since I started doing it every day, my knees feel better. Both of them feel much better. My back feels better. My shoulder feels better. But more importantly for me, honestly, I have more of a peace. I grew up in Chicago. I'm not looking forward to it. I can't stand the cold, but if this is what it takes, then that's what I'm gonna do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, when your time starts, ask you to sit in it, all the way down to your neck, legs in the water, hands in the water. We're gonna see who can stay in there the longest. I mean, the reality really is, all this is is this. It will be cold, obviously. If you stay in long enough, your feet, your hands, you'll start to get numb, your neck. You're gonna be fine. Not let anything happen to you, believe me. People saying much, this is this water is safe enough to see how long you can stay. It will burn, it will hurt, it will be a struggle. When you wanna get out, just get out. Does that make sense? Do any of you not want to do this? Everybody's good? Everybody's all set. Alright, so you see the cold plunge, and I'm gonna let you, who would like, would anybody like to go first? Alright, so you put your hand up first. You're gonna be first, take a step back. Second, you wanna go third or fourth? You all care? Third? Okay. Cold or not, freezing or not, even if I get stuck with eight toes left, <laughs> who cares as long as does he see I have what it takes? I've had people in here, it's funny, because I use it with people at work all the time. And I put some people in here that panic and freak out, and they tend to do that in real life, <laughs> in business. And then some that are like, you know, I have a guy that, I'm not trying, like he's not remotely athletic, he's not remotely, he's like, but he's just a killer in business. He's sitting this thing for as long as you want. He just kind of just sits there. And that's how he runs his business. He's very, very strong-minded. So this will test you. And the winner, in my mind, will truly be the winner. We've gone through all these different tasks, been interviewed, sales, the way you teach, the way you learn, some of the organizational skills, how creative you are. And it all comes down to really what you got in your stomach. What kind of backbone do you have? Does that make sense? So what I'm gonna do is ask the three of you, not Christian, to go back inside. You're not gonna hear their, you're not gonna see their time. You're not gonna hear from them when you're done. We're gonna throw a towel on you. You're gonna get out of here. And then we're gonna go in order. Does that make sense? Then we'll bring you back and let you know who won. You don't talk to each other. You don't communicate. We'll bring you all back. Disclose your times. See if you think maybe you did better or worse than you actually did. All right, Christian, you ready? Yes. All right, brother, let's do it. Three of you step out, please. Let's go. All right, hey, hold on a minute. Y'all wanna see what we're doing? Come back over here. I want you to see it first. You want to put your hand in there and feel if it's cold? Cold? Yep. All right. Three of you head out. Let's let Christian see what he's got. All right. So, hey, once you step your foot in there, you have to be completely submerged, and we'll start the time. So, once you're, don't put your head in there. You're good. But one neck, feet, and your arm, your hands in there. All right? 
All right, man, go get it, bro. You can do it. You're mentally strong, dude. Whenever I stepped foot into the ice bath, I started to remember how nice the water felt when I jumped off the yacht. Lean back, lean back. All right, start time. It's the coldest water that I've ever felt on my body. How's it feel? <laughs> cold, come down a little bit so I can get a little more of your chest and your neck in there. Come down, come down, come, there you go, there you go, there you go, perfect. My body is slowly going under that water. Everything is just freezing cold. I want this not just for me, but for all the people that I want their lives to change. So I'm gonna stay in here as long as I have to. I had already made the decision before I even got in the water that he's gonna have to tell me to get out. This might sound crazy, but if I have an opportunity to do something great that's gonna impact the lives of others, I'm, I'm willing to give my life to do that. I got EMTs here. We're good, bro. I'm EMT trained, bro. It's cold, man. It is definitely cold, bro. It'll start to burn and start to get numb. It's two minutes, bro. What do you think you can get? How long do you think you can stay? Now you say as long. How long do you think you can make? In two minutes now. Ten. Think you can do ten? In my mind, I'm like, it's. I'm not coming out. You know, it's cold, but my heart's still beating, and I still have breath in my lungs. So I'm gonna just let my body be cold. Sure, you don't want to get out. There was no motivational talk for me. It was just. Hey, you ready to get out yet? Hey, uh, your time's getting kind of high. You, you thinking about getting out yet? How you feeling, dude? Thank you. Yeah. Get out anytime you want, bro. Okay. You got a pretty strong time right now. Coming up on five minutes. You know, I'm sitting in there and it's just getting colder. First, I start feeling little, like, like little needles sticking into my body, and then the shakes start. You want out, bro? I'll help you out. Okay. I don't know, man. It's cold blooded. Is he at seven yet? Seven minutes. The shaking was like, I can't even control it. Like, that was weird for me. I can't even make myself stop. Like, if I tense up, that makes it worse. Like, my body's like. <laughs> he is shaking like fucking leaves. <laughs> you might already have the one in time, dude. You sure you don't want to get out? Okay. What are you shooting for? What number? So you tell me I have to get out. Nine minutes. You won't tap out. I have to tell you to get out? Probably. Probably. I thought I was going to shake myself out of the water. He's a beast, bro. You can't argue it. You got intestinal fortitude, man. He ain't playing. I definitely think that Sean was surprised that I went as long as I did. All right, dude, hey, 11 minutes. You win no matter what. Come here, I'm gonna help you out. No matter what happens, you're in. I don't think anybody else is even getting any close to you. Easy on your legs, dude, step off the side. I don't think you're ever gonna come out, so. When Sean finally said, okay, it's time to get out of the water, I was definitely relieved. Yo, this is legit, dude. Get him a, hey, get him, get him a towel, bro. Right over there. Hey, good job, baby. I'm proud of you, brother. 100%. You got to wrap that thing over there. In my mind, I was like, you know, I wasn't that bad. Like, I, could, I could have stayed in a little bit longer, but I was like, maybe they pulled me out for health reasons or whatever. Hey, you want to get over there and then, hey, go get in a hot tub. Don't you kind of what? Oh, you good on your legs? You think so? I don't let him fall. He's a big dude. That dude was not getting out. How do you feel, man? It's so hard to walk right now, man. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Oh. In that moment, I was like, there's no way that any of the other contestants were gonna last that long. Congratulations. You can come with me either way. I don't think nobody's getting this. I was afraid he would never come out. Let's bring him out. The James, take your shoes and socks off there. Christian went to the hospital, so. So don't, don't, I mean. That's why it took so long. Way to call the EMTs. All right, I'm just playing with you. Hey, when you sit in, you gotta get all the way up to here. We'll start a clock as soon as you're submerged, okay? Be careful getting in one leg at a time. Okay. 
So as I step on the toe, the water is excruciating, it's, it's freezing. Sit, put your legs out, put your arms in. Yeah, keep coming, yeah. Keep your feet in there, keep your toes, feet and the toes in there. Okay, there you go, there you go. Start. I felt, in a sense, a peace. Yeah, man, this is pretty cool. I love this. <laughs> Good, man, I'm glad you like it. It'll get tighter and colder, but you just keep liking it. Okay. You're doing better than I thought you would be. To be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah? Two minutes. I knew, deep down, if I just keep going, that greatness is gonna happen. What do you think Christian got? Probably like 10 minutes. You think so? Yeah. Dude did great. <laughs> Can you get the 10, you think? Lord willing. The scriptures and everything, the motivation just started coming to me. And I was meditating on that. Five minutes. What are you thinking about? When I am weak, I am strong. Through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. <laughs> Saying through Christ who strengthens me, I feel like it allows Sean to see a different side of me. And I'm holding on to the Lord, like as if a child is holding on to their parents. Your legs getting numb? Everything feels numb. Everything's numb? I feel nothing. Feel nothing? Nothing. My body started to get warm. I give glory to God. It started to get so warm and I just held my body and it was, it was warm and numb. I didn't feel anything. Who would have thought you're a warrior, bro? And you tried to quit earlier. Think about that. Thank God I saved your life. How pathetic was that? That was the old James. It's the old James. That was the old James that just give up. Miss the new James. Yes, sir. Faith will go a long way. Yes. Nine. This is incredible. When you have faith, when you trust in God, how far it can take you. It's a living testimony, <laughs> literally. What would make you get out? You say I'm the winner. Okay. Other than that, you're staying in. I'm staying in. I'm not leaving, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I'm going to get one of these, Sean. You should. I promise you I am. You should. You should talk yourself into stuff like this more often. Yes, sir. I have to win. It just will only make sense. So I'm just at peace. And I'm just waiting. All right, dude. 11 minutes. You're good. You won. You need to move on. Give me your hand. No matter what they do, if they make 11, they Oh, my God. Dang. I know, bro. I know. Get my man a towel. You're good. Easy on your legs, dude. Easy on your legs when you get out. Easy. 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 Don't be falling on my deck. Here you go, bro. Here. Come on out. Come on. One foot at a time, dude. I know it's... I don't know. <laughs> Hold this, will you? I ain't carrying you, bro, but come on. Come on, dude. You can do it. I got you. There you go. There you go. Give him a towel. Take your towel. Take your towel, dude. Right over here. You can come this way. How you feeling? Great. <laughs> I'm at peace because how far I came and where I am now. This is it. It's time to change. It's time to grow and do great things. Through Christ, who strengthens me. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, dude, so you're gonna step in one foot at a time from, from that direction. Once you're submerged, we'll start the clock. Okay. All right, man? The moment I put my foot in that cold plunge, I felt like I lost my toes. Man, just everything felt numb. Come up closer, get further down in your neck. There you go. Keep your feet in the water. I take a moment to look up. And I know there was anybody that went in the tub before me, and they were over there shivering like I am now. You're shaking, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cold. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> it's horrible. You want out, dude? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want it too bad. You want it too bad? Mm -hmm. Why you want it so bad? I got kids to take care of. My mother she just had a stroke. My daughter looking up to me. Whole family, I'm breaking the curse for all of them. I have too many people counting on me to let them down. You know, I'm living my life not just for me, 
But for other people, you know, that's counting on me. Got nothing on me, baby. Jump in the ocean, I can't even swim. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> bad, man. I think Sean is, um, is delighted to know that he, he have people around that will, will, will fight, you know, for what they believe in. Five minutes. The burn? See how it burns, thing. Shakes, cold. <laughs> they ain't gonna kill you, though. I come from that. I slept on the float. I was 16. I bought my own first car. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had a shot. This is my first shot. Damn it. I think I'm finna give up that easy on my first shot. My first real shot. Got to be kidding me. You know, working with me is gonna be a lot harder than this cold point, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Sean helped me step outside of my comfort zone. And the moment I stepped outside of my comfort zone, extraordinary things start to happen outside there. And I guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I don't ever wanna go back into my comfort zone. That space is too small. I've outgrown that place. You doing okay, bro? Mm-hmm. Okay. If I pass out, pick me out. I will definitely not let you drown. All right. That I promise you. I uh, felt like I was going to pass out at a moment. It felt like uh, I was looking for life jackets and it wasn't even two feet, <laughs> you know? Eight minutes. Don't quit. I don't, don't quit. quit. Don't quit, bro. I like you too much, don't quit. I feel like Sean put me in a position to show who I am and what I'm about and um, how resilient I am. And, and I think he see the resilience after this. I didn't allow myself to eat until I got past this. I found the East thinking lost tonight. <laughs> I would have went till my whole body was numb and they pulled me out of there. So if I would have, if I would have had to pass out and someone pick me up and wake me up and tell me what happened, uh, that's just what have had to happen. All right, dude, 11 minutes, hey, you win, come here, you're out. 11 minutes, that's all you had to do, bro. Yeah, that's it, you meant to move on, dude. Got a towel for me. I was in there so long shaking and quivering and all up, so they had to pull me out. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what the time was. I don't know what, but I just know I got pulled out of there. That's it. You good on your feet right now? Yeah. Okay. I can't feel them There's a hot tub over here. Okay. What you want? I got you, bro. Okay. Put that foot in there. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. There you go. Get right in there and sit down. Atta boy. Yeah, get in that hot water, baby. Get in that hot water, bro. How's that feel? This shit feels so good. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm proud of you, man. All right, dude, I go to battle with those guys any day of the week. I did it for my family. I did it for the kids that are part of my nonprofit that I'm showing them. Once they put their mind to anything, it's possible. Never give up. Put God first, and everything else will fall in place. Then there was one. Come on over, Raquel. All right. Are you ready? I am. Are you excited? I'm excited, but I'm also like, oh man, let's let's see, let's see. Let's see. Never done this. You have no idea how the other three did, and I'm not gonna tell you. It was hard not knowing how anyone did, but I think that's like a part of competition. Are you gonna compare yourself to others, or are you gonna say, hey, I'm gonna beat me? Now I want to beat everyone. I want to beat me until I physically cannot go no more. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in that tub. You're shorter than them, it'll be easier for you. You're gonna go all the way down to here, like neck high water. Once you're there, we'll start the clock. If you want to come out, just tell me, and I'll reach in with my hand and bring you out this way. Go for Still it. In? Just one foot at a time, yeah, and don't dive head first. I put my foot into that tub, and I have never been that uncomfortable physically in my life. Sit down. Come this way with your feet. There, okay, there you go. Up, oh, up. Oh, you okay? Are you okay? If you want to get out, get out, honey. It's up to you. As soon as I got in, I wanted to get out, but that's life. Like, if you get past that part, you just breathe and... Mm, like, like he's so right. It's a, it's a mental thing. Go, can I fine. cuss? Can you I can, cuss? You can cuss. Guys, you do this every day, bro. My ass cheeks are so far clenched up my ass, bro. God, give me, sh God, give me, sh oh, give me, this give is me. Definitely the most entertaining one. Oh, oh. The first twenty seconds were really like I was really like I, sh I, I should get out, you know, like I'm not gonna be okay. Uh. And then I just listened to that right side of my head, that other side that's like bitch stop tripping bro just breathe like come on <gasps> wait did 
just don't think about it. Let's let's talk. Just let's don't talk. think about let's it. Talk. What do you want to talk about? Let's sing a song. Let's what do you want to talk about? Song. You know what you gotta do? Oh. Slow down. Let your breathing catch up. Your body is just a little bit cold. Your body's just slow down the breathing, relax. Your heart rate's supposed to slow down because you're really cold. Just let it catch up. You gotta listen to that one until this one don't exist no more. And that's what I feel like I'm really gonna get out of this mentorship with Sean. Like not only, you know, business and how things work, but I'm gonna literally grow because I know there's things that I don't see to, about myself and like he just says that shit right to your face and I love that and I want to use it and grow and change and just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you're two minutes in. You're doing good, Raquel. You're doing two good. minutes? Yeah, you're doing two. Oh man, okay, okay. You're it's okay. It's just a jacuzzi. It's just a it's jacuzzi. Just a jacuzzi. It's this here. is just some beautiful, clear, fresh water. And you think about whatever it is that got you here. Why are you here? Why do you want to be here? You know what I did when I started? I closed my eyes. I didn't look at anybody. Well, I had to think about what I wanted, you know what I mean? Like, do, if I get out, then, you know, that means I go back to my normal life and blah, blah, blah. Or I can stay in, make myself stay in, and get the mentorship that I signed up for with Sean to get me to where I want to be. So you just think about the things you want to do. The craziness you got in there from your father. Oh, you remind me of, but like, the version that got clean, you well, know? I bet, yeah, I've been cleaning sober for a while. I probably would have gotten along with your father really well. Right. I think Sean, understands my personality and knows my flaws and I think he was proud of me. I don't think he, th he even told me, he was like, I didn't think you would make it that long and I was like, awesome. Four minutes. You made it longer than I thought you would. Would you be mad if I accidentally peed in here? <laughs> yes. Okay, I was trying my hardest to keep yes. moving it. If you pee in there, you're out. Okay, got it. So don't, don't pee in my cold punch. If you're gonna pee, you gotta tell me and I'll take you out. I might have already a little bit at the beginning, but I swear it was like, it was like one second. Okay, it's okay. I'm proud of myself, even though there's times that I messed up really bad. Like, that's what you gotta do. Like, I wanna keep messing up until it turns into not messing up no more. <laughs> it's, it's all gonna be fine, you know? Like, I'm just, I gotta keep going though. Like, don't stop. Like, <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying because I've heard you talk, but it's erratic. Sorry, bro. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm just saying, as you grow. Yeah, I gotta learn how to gather my thoughts too. Like I just be all over the place, like ridiculously like, all over the place. But I'm gonna learn. Like seven minutes. I cannot talk right. Ever since I got out that thing, I'm like. <laughs> sure, you don't want to come out. Yep. Positive. Cold. Yep. <laughs> Okay, no. I don't feel it anymore, though. No, you don't, do you? You made it no. through it. So life's the same deal once you make it through that bullshit, except you've never gone this far in life and business. Everything we've done seems like, oh, we're jumping off boats and riding bulls. No, he's teaching us things through this stuff. Raquel, I'm proud of you. Come here. Thank you. You made 11 minutes. You're going to move on. You're good. You're good. You get to move on. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> You're real little here. Are you okay? All right. You're... Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I can't. Like... Give her a towel. Yeah, you can. You're all right. Yeah, you can. Step one. Yeah, you can step one leg over. It's one at a time. Nothing crazy. One at a time. Come on. Take your towel. We're gonna walk you over to the hot tub. You're gonna sit in the hot tub. You're gonna thaw right out. Okay? I couldn't feel anything, man. I couldn't feel my legs and bones and body, but I was just happy that I made it. How's that feel? Feel good? Yeah. I'm good, man. Good. I'm good. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm Okay. Uh, uh. I just did this plunge, feeling good. I think I did great, but now it's decision time. I'll be really, really transparent with you. The thing for me with this whole challenge was, I didn't think, like the minute you got in there, you were losing your mind after like 30 seconds. So were you. And, and I was, but, but dude, you just kept moving. I mean, look at how she's shaking, you know? You were shaking, but you rolled. You actually surprised the living shit out of me. Like, I actually don't know who you are now from three days ago. Three days ago, it was like, that's him, take his shit. Now it's like, that's a grown man, don't bother him. So at that point in time, I'm thinking, okay, everybody stayed in for as, for as long as I did. Um, and I'm thinking that, you know, because we were probably pulled out for health reasons, there must be another challenge coming up. 
we could go ahead and do something else. I can eliminate three of you, but I don't want to do that. Like, I want to work my ass off to help all four of you. But you have to understand how humbling it is for me because I actually move with humility all the time because that's how you're supposed to all the time. If you get egotistical on me, I'll stop working with you. If you start telling me how great you are, I'll stop working with you. If you have fear because you have faith, you can't have both. You also can't be an egotistical ass if you have faith because you're not supposed to. But I will work my ass off to make sure you all get where you need to get to. So weirdly enough, I thought we were going to have one person that was going to move on and be the, I guess, inaugural winner of the Millionaire Maker Challenge. We got four. I thought all four had earned the right to stay. Um, I had no problem working with four, and that's kind of how I am anyway with people. Like, when you see four people give it as much as they got and do the things they do, it's like, let's take all four instead of one, dude. It'll all work itself out. Let's just take all four. To my surprise, he's not just bringing one person home with the trophy. All four of us are coming home with the trophy. Man, was that music to my ears. I was actually really confused because I thought there was gonna be one winner and actually all of us got to be mentors. So I was like, okay, cool. So it was a little bit discouraging for me. I was happy for the other contestants. I thought that you know it was great that they stayed in, um, but I was definitely expecting another chance to outshine them so that we could come down to who was the one winner of the show. So congratulations to all of you. Y'all should be really proud of yourself. You should be really proud of yourself. I love you. I'm proud of you, man. I really am. You are freaking proud of you. Yes, sir. Sean picked me. He picked me. From the start, it was just, I didn't know if Sean liked me or not. Like, my mind is everywhere with Sean because he's, he's hitting me, like, but it's love. I'm proud of you too, bro. The stuff that Sean has seen out of me since I've been here is just a little snippet of my entire life and the thing and, and the way that I perform in anything that I get involved in. I don't even know what's going on up over here, but I don't even know what this outfit's like. You can dress never like this in an interview. To win is one thing, but to actually be mentored, get the work done, and see the results so all of our life can change will be the other. And you crushed it. My God. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I'm definitely proud of myself for making it this far. I think at the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna try. And then it slowly led into like, I know I can do this shit, like, come on. And I'm gonna tell you what, if you actually pursue the journey, you'll learn a lot about yourselves. And all I'm trying to do is get you to learn stuff a lot sooner than I learned it. When I think about when I was living in my car to where I am now, it all makes sense on why God made me go through what I go through. He was shaping and molding me for this moment that I am in right now. You're all at different places, whatever it is you want in life. Like when you're like kids, family, people to support. This is what happened when I was younger, what you've been through. And you're like, I don't know. I think you do know. And you stop apologizing for your age. And you can stop apologizing, don't matter where you are at this point in time. It's what we do from this day forward. What makes me the most excited about the future is the house that I'm gonna buy my mama and the day I'm gonna call her up and tell her to pack her shit. So the journey will be intense because I do this stuff all day long every day. It's what I do and I love it. And I wanna see you all get to where you wanna get to, to get your own stuff, to get your own name, to do all the things you need to do. It ain't about celebrating what everybody else has, what you can go ahead and achieve. So congratulations, man. And buckle up, this cold plunge ain't nothing compared to what we're gonna do. It points me back to when we all were having a conversation on why we were here and how God brought us here. The four of us, and for us to be selected, chosen, it was confirmation. The four that's here, we all put God first, man. So, God first, just like family first. I'm gonna let you all down, so keep moving. You better stop shaking, freaking me out. And you might have peed in my cold plunge. That was the weirdest part, so. <laughs> other than that, we're good, so. Hey, congrats, guys. I appreciate you, great job. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Honestly, thank you so much. I, this opportunity was honestly so crazy. was not expecting to meet these people, make these relationships. In the ice bath, you told me some stuff about myself that I didn't really ever think of. I'm grateful for this opportunity. I want to encourage all of you guys watching to never give up. You know, and if God give you the vision, just keep working it until you see it manifest, man. And so I thank you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate this journey. I appreciate you, Sean. I appreciate everybody that's a part of it. I, I, I'm just super excited for where we're going on the next parts of this journey. I want to thank you, Sean Mike. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for allowing God to use you as a vessel. Thank you for giving these 
everyone an opportunity. You're amazing. I am a millionaire, maker, contestant, winner. <laughs> I won the millionaire maker. <laughs> I know that there may be other people that Sean called winners today, but I'm, I'm the winner of Millionaire Maker. Shout out to Sean Mike. He picked me. Let's go. I am the winner to Millionaire Maker.